We've been talking about dropping off for a while now, huh? Been a while, yeah. Yeah, do not hey, double ball. Pete, if you double ball, we'll back you up, and you guys need to, like, play nice with each other today, please. Don't be a dick. Unless you're racing Bob, then you can you can double ball in. It's fine. This is one of my favorite tracks. It's an old outlaw track in the woods. Welcome back to the channel. We are headed to Pacemakers Outlaw Drag Strip down in Mount Vernon, Ohio, where we're going to be competing in a stick shift no prep event. Pacemakers is probably one of my favorite tracks in Ohio. It's an eighth mile only track. And with the changes that we've made to the white car this past year, I'm super excited to get a chance to uh, take it down the track there. We're also going to be meeting up with one of our subscribers here on the channel, Lamar Richardson. And let me show you why. Now, this is our SSP coupe build that we had brought to the channel about about a year ago. When we bought the coupe, it had a 306 in it that had been rebuilt, but there was kind of an issue with that motor, thinking that it would be fine, it's brand new, it's fresh. But when we got digging into the motor, we weren't very happy with what we found. So Dave Dalk at Dalk Racing Engines ended up hooking it up pretty good. Put it in a little engine bag, it's been sitting for a while, but nice and uh, rebuilt, ready to go. I'm getting ready to deliver it today. So if I remember correctly, it's got a really nice rotating assembly, just a, a basic 306 forged bottom end, rockers, flow tech heads. We get a chance to deliver it finally today. I mean, when I sold the engine, it looked like it was in good shape, but I wanted to take it apart and, and look at it just to make sure. And I'm kind of glad I did. Sometimes when you buy these engines used, Facebook marketplace, whatever, you never know what you're getting. And that was the case with this scenario. I'm really glad that I went through it and, and the money and resources to make it right for Lamar. That way when he drops it in, there should be no issue. Fire it up, run it. Put the engine bag on it, find a new used tire somewhere and tape it up and get it in the back of the truck. Not real sure how I'm gonna get it off the truck. We're gonna take our hoist with us anyways, but I'm pretty sure that we can put tailgate to tailgate and probably just be able to into the back of the truck. I'm just happy to be able to get this engine over to Lamar. I know he's excited about putting it in his car and I get a chance to stick shift race at the same time. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Hey, nothing like a good set of old seat belts. Get an old tire underneath of it, strap it in, tape it up. Got all loaded up. We just got to shuffle some stuff around and then we'll be ready to hook up the car. We are going to have to take the car out because we've got to check the fuel and do a little quick nut bolt check just to make sure everything's going to be good for the night. And uh, we'll hit the road here soon. Got the white car. We actually ended up switching back to our Mickey Thompson's. There was a couple lines that were starting in my Hoosiers. If you look here in the pictures, and I don't know if that's just normal, if that's maybe under inflation. I don't know, during the breaking period. I don't know. I have to call Hoosier up Monday, but I know my Mickey's still work. Notice that some of my axle studs are just starting to twist a little bit. They're still the half inch ones, but we got five ace ones on the bigger studs over there. Let me get cleaned up here and uh, we'll hit the road. Meeting up with Lamar Richardson, picking up his 306 that we just, uh, we've been talking about dropping off for a while now, huh? Been a while, yeah. You dropping this right in as soon as you get home? No, it's going to be a while. Yeah? So here in a couple of weeks, uh, I'm going on a fishing trip when I come back, full steam ahead. Hell. I got to clear out my garage and all that good stuff, so. Hell yeah. So you're going to have to send me some pictures so I can show people on the channel. Oh, I will. You guys remember, <laughs> he did the, uh, the wooden... What do you call it? It's a wood art. It's it's a wood he did cars. some wood art for Dad's car for when for his birthday when you guys. Uh, these things, those things are expensive. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. He's actually making a 1940 Chevy right now. That's my oldest son right there. Yeah. So. You guys have got, got the gift of the carpentry. Something like that. That's awesome. It's just a fun hobby. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. That's my cousin Tommy. Cousin Tom. Cousin Tom. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> cousin Tommy. Yeah, I see you. You were at Bowling Green too, weren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we had to meet him. It was uh, top priority to come down here before it was racing. Uh, if I could make them both happen the same weekend, that was a big win for me. Yes. With that all set up, we are ready to go to the track at Pacemakers Outlaw Dragway here in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Got a driver meeting at five, so we got to hurry. First round's at six, and I'm pretty excited to see what the white car will do tonight as we plan to actually use the two-step and try to dial that in too. Okay, we are here. Pacemakers Outlaw Dragway. We're gonna walk the track here in a second.
got to hurry up and uh, get my four-wheeler out. Get up and get signed up. Got some schedules I printed out for some of the uh, guys that are doing the no prep point series. So it's going to be fun. Uh, it's only going to be a couple, you know, a couple rounds for us and go home. But at least I'll be able to get home at a decent hour. I mean, I'd rather be racing 30 cars, but it is what it is. What's up, big dog? It's good to see you. How are you? <laughs> so it's not too bad. <laughs> Sam, Hi. good to see you guys. Not a real big turnout, huh? Uh, no. No, weather kind of... Well, Mike. Mike! Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of hard to hide. Pretty normal program, same run orders we always do. Uh, there are zero big tire cars, so we're not going to run big tire, obviously. <laughs> Pour your own puddle. We're running off of the timing system. There will be no slips. All of your cars should have been checked by Corey. He would have written something on your windshield with a chalk marker. If you cross, you lose. If you jump, you lose. If you go red, you lose. If there's an issue with the timing system, we'll rerun that pair. I already went over it. Instant green. Yeah, do not double ball. If you double ball, we'll back you up, and you guys need to, like, play nice with each other today, please. Don't be a dick. Unless you're racing Bob. Unless you're racing Bob, then you can, you can double ball, then. It's fine. Yeah. We'll he abuse Bob today. Bob has, I haven't seen Bob for a while. I need to abuse Bob a little bit. He has no feelings. Uh -huh. No feelings. Nice to see you back. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Any other concerns? Any other comments? So this is Pacemakers Outlaw Drag Strip, located in Mount Vernon, Ohio, not too far from Columbus, Ohio. One of my favorite, as I mentioned, definitely a fast track. Also, D Team always throws some of the best no prep events. Well organized, well staffed. I always enjoy showing up to their events, and the venue is going to go very well. But let's get into some racing. As you can see, it's scraped pretty good. It'll come around. There's not a whole lot of cars here, so got to be careful. Can't turn it up too much. So we got through the driver meeting. We pulled our chips. There's only four stick shift cars to race. This is the first round against Chris Marker with the fast stick shift turbo Camaro. Seems like the other classes were a little light as far as attendance as well. So the track's not going to come around like we're used to. So we got to be careful out there. Nonetheless, we're going to go A to B. So first round didn't go as we thought it would. We were skating down the track pretty good. Chris was as well in the next lane. We ended up having the wrong shock settings and the wrong tire pressure and too much power in the car anyways. It wasn't the track's fault, but that's no prep racing going A to B. But considering there was only four stick shift cars, I'm to race John Kinter in the finals for full 100. So we got back to the pits and my buddy John Kinter told me that he had finally grenaded his old school TKO 600 faceplate transmission. Not exactly the way we want to win the whole event with a comp buy, but it is what it is. So we ended up deciding to make a test pass with one of the other stick shift cars and get a chance to test our two-step as all of us were basically there to get some data and go A to B. As you can see, I still have a two-step on a button. The pedal switch that I was using wasn't working very well. In the coming weeks, you're going to see me designing something a little bit different down by the bell housing using the fork, and maybe we can really start dialing in this two-step. That definitely was going to be a spicy run right there. We left on two-step, about 13 pounds of boost, had a little bit too much power in it. And we did go left just like we did in the first round. But I think we're getting somewhere with our two-step. We're going to get this thing dialed in on a switch, but I'll talk about that in another video. 
not a bad weekend. Got a chance to deliver the motor that we needed to get done. Won a couple hundred bucks stick shift racing with some of our stick shift friends. Doing what we love to do. As I hope you guys enjoy what we bring to the channel. Because I like to bring you along for the ride. Big thanks to Corey Stump over at Psycho Racing. And D-Team and Stripper Glitter for a, a wonderful venue. Big shout out to Tremec for sponsoring the T56 points race. As we are doing an eight race series with D-Team to win a T56 here in Ohio. So check that out if you're interested in traveling. As there will definitely be a lot of stick shift stuff going on. Outside of that guys, I just appreciate you watching the channel. So we will see you soon this week in the next video. Thank you for watching.